Alright, greetings everybody, and this is the part 2 of the Honda Shadow Spirits 750 of 2005. That's a review, part number 2 as I said. Now let's climb up and ride. Alright, the key is on the left side, over here. As you can see, that's the fuel petcock, and right now it's saying off. So you have to turn it down to turn on the fuel and from the middle you turn up to get the reserve. I don't need the reserve, I need the on. So the key is below that, slide it in, turn backwards, the motorcycle is on, but I have to put on, put that on in a neutral. Alright, here it is. Hopefully I got everything, yep, I have to change the battery on the clock, that's gone, so yeah, it does have uh, the, yeah, the clock, alright, neutral, on, there I go, and off we go, so this is a carburetor bike, meaning you have to clean that up, sometimes, Put a sea foam or whatever the cleaning solutions. I can't e emphasize any stronger how long low I am comparing to my VFR, and the riding position is very comfortable. You're basically sitting down and back, whereas on my VFR you sit up and you kind of lean forward just slightly. So it has good brakes still, never been changed, I don't think. So it has five gears. Oh, here we go. Wow, it changed again, that's great. All right. Five gears. When I rode it yesterday, home, back home, <laughs> I was looking for a stick gear, but there is none. So that, that was kind of funny. Yeah, the seat is uh, one piece, so you have your your uh, main rider, so to speak, the, uh, the uh, driver and the passenger seat together. You can't remove one without the other. So it's just one piece, but I, I'm pretty sure you can buy them separately. Meaning if you want to turn it into a chopper or whatever they're called, bobber, dauber, blobber. <laughs> I'm just uh, making some words up. But if you want to convert it into one-seater bike, you absolutely can. I'm sure, I'm sure there are plenty of options out there. Very comfortable motorcycle. Very, uh, very flickable. And I, as I said, it's so, so fun to lean on it. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you can't do it too far just because the foot pegs are lower. But besides that, it's absolutely great. I was actually smiling on my, on my, on my uh, trip home from my brother. I, I, uh, I, we swapped bikes, so I left him my motorcycle, but I, I'm sure he's not going to ride it just because he's not used to it. I really want to swap bikes and ride together so that he rides mine and I ride his. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, so the power is not going to blow you away, but it's usable. So it's going to pull you, it'll pull you fine. It'll, it'll pull you fine on a highway, it'll do fine, 70 fine. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to switch off the uh, turn signal. That's a no mistake. It's not really a mistake, but you know, just forgot. It's, it's stupid comfortable. I wish the seat was just a bit firmer, to my taste. But it's fine, it's absolutely fine, because it, it's wide and it's big, meaning you can adjust yourself. You can move closer to the tank, farther from the tank, 
<laughs> and it's, you know, it's, it's great. I like it. The foot pegs are far away from you so that you can just do this and have a relaxed ride wherever you ride it. As I said, it's 500 plus uh, pounds. So there is, there is enough weight so that you feel yourself comfortable and stable. It's not like your 250 or 125 cc motorcycles, they're tiny, but of course there is fun in that too. There is fun and light in the motorcycles that are lightweight. There's a, there's a kind of travel small bag in front of the handlebar. I'm not sure why my brother is not using it. I would. I mean, on a joyride, that's a great idea. You just put your wallet and uh, and a cell phone in so that you don't cram your pockets full of stuff. Hello. It's 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 great. So there's a over here in front of you. You will not have a tachometer. So you have to hear and you have to know where and when to shift a motorcycle. I mean, I don't use my tachometer anyway. It's it's great to have, but if you don't have it, oh well. It's fine. It's just like in a car. You don't really need it, but every car has it. That's a Harley. Yeah. Yeah, Harley riders don't don't really wave at uh, sport sport bikes or sport touring bikes. So, I mean, uh, nah, who cares, man? They just they represent their own species, motorcycle species. As you can see, my hands are vibrating. It is that vibration comes from the fact that it is a V twin. So two cylinders. Two pistons, nothing else. VFR is a V4, so the four four pistons in there. I mean, on the speed, it's absolutely fine. You don't you don't feel that vibration. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of comfort too, it's great. On those kind of roads, like this one, it's absolutely fantastic. Even if you're jumping a little bit, it's not throwing off. It's not throwing you off of the seat. <laughs> it's great. I'm like a child. Well, I am a child out of this world oh well so yeah you have a speedometer in front of you that's about it that's about what you have there is a neutral indicator there is probably a, a, how do you say it a cooling cool cooling fluid indicator maybe it's when it comes on when maybe when it is overheating you have an indicator light, so when your indicator is on, it's flashing. And you have a high beam indicator. When the high beam is on, it will be on. Other than that, the tripodometer, uh, the, uh, just the, uh, the total mile odometer. <laughs> Here you go. Twenty, almost twenty-one hundred or oh, twenty-one thousand miles. I'm sorry. What my brother does to uh, to see how much fuel he has, he knows that every hundred miles he probably should refuel. So he puts his uh, trip odometer to a zero whenever he refuels. I'm, I know many people do that in their cars as well. 
but if you're starting with a motorcycle that's a good idea to measure how far you can go on a tank especially when you when you, you don't have a fuel fuel gauge but first of, of course when you when you buy a motorcycle you don't know how far it's gonna go of course you can google there are plenty of forums and people talk about fuel consumption and you can actually see the mpg for your particular motorcycle i'm sure it's it's out there no matter what, what kind of bike you have 